No, there's also a German cursed team. Have the, have the two teams ever met together and hung out? So, um, yes, they have. Uh, we were at an event um, in North America where, the, where they were able to hang out for a little bit, but um, we were competing against each other, which sounds a little odd. But, um, so we didn't get to hang out too much, but uh, we actually both just qualified for IPL5 in Las Vegas. And uh, IPL4 was amazing. It's a huge venue, a lot of fun. So both teams will be there. Not sure what the brackets are, but I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully we don't have to go against each other round one. Um, but our EU team is uh, um, doing really well. They, uh, uh, they're probably, I think, a top five team in EU at the moment. And what do you think makes League of Legends so popular today? You know, it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, one, I think the game is easier to understand and play than the most other video games. Um, if you compare it to StarCraft II, uh, to be able to reach uh, or to be competitive, um, you have to really be good at computer games. Uh, League of Legends, in order to be really good at it, it's not as much about your actions per minute on the keyboard. Um, as it is communication and strategy amongst the team. So being able to uh, jump on team speak and have everybody working together and studying the game and watching the game is something that um, kind of separates League of Legends from other sports. So I think it's successful because it's easier than most other games. Um, I also think it's uh, successful because of Riot and what they're trying to do with the game. They have invested millions of dollars in esports and uh, the players, and they're very supportive of the community of esports. You know, they have uh, relationships with all the team managers, all the sponsors, all the players, and they support us and they promote us and they. Um, that's something that a game developer has never done. You know, if you compare it to like Blizzard, Blizzard has a community, but they've never invested in tournaments or players. You don't know who most of the kind of competitive esports players are, and I don't think that they would get as much support from Riot as they would. I'm sorry, from Blizzard as much as you know Riot supports their players. So I think it's the it's the goals of the organ of the game developer um, is another one, and I think three is just timing. I think. Um, as I mentioned before, reduced bandwidth costs and kind of streaming and watching content on your computer is kind of just starting to happen. And because of that, um, League just kind of came out at the right time where, uh, like just the other day, they, they streamed the Olympics online, right? And they streamed, um, who was that guy that jumped out of uh, space? Yeah, he jumped out of, yeah, Felix, um, you know, that was streamed online. So every... It's becoming a new, it's, I personally feel like it will replace um, cable at some point. So uh, those are the three, I think that's those are the reasons why. And where do you hope to see eSports five years from now? Five years from now, um, wouldn't it be nice if it was as spectated as, let's say, baseball? Five years, I don't know if that will happen. but. Uh, the numbers are there, right? You've got all these Gen X, Gen Y, um, and all the millennials that are very familiar with video games. I mean, um, it's funny, my mom, I would never think that she would play a video game in her entire life and she's like mastered Angry Birds on her, her cell phone. <laughs> um, I see my, uh, my, uh, my nephew and he he's I mean, two years old and he's already playing video games on the iPad. Um, it's become kind of a way of life, uh, probably a lot in part to Apple and uh, user interface and uh, making it easy to play video games that were once complicated, right? So um, I think, hopefully I see eSports growing in its spectator base, growing in popularity, and I think if you get it to a point where you can actually watch um, an esports title that you've never played and enjoy it, I hope, hopefully that happens in five years, where people can just tune in, um, love a team, love a player, um, and it's, uh, it becomes kind of a, a new um, industry that, um, yeah, that's where, I mean, I, I, I would see that esports should have um, either one or two major titles that are going to dominate the scene. I think League of Legends will be one. Maybe it's CS, maybe it's Guild Wars, maybe it's you know, whatever. It, 
I'm not sure what game it might be, but hopefully there's one or two titles that kind of dominate the market. I think that has to happen in order for esports to grow. And there's going to be kind of a war to figure out who's going to uh, rise to the top. But so far, League is just dominating and kind of this huge barrier to entry to get in.